the question is, are you guys going to watch any more Disney Plus shows? Because I was expecting quite a lot from Secret Invasion. And in all reality, in all actuality, it let me down. It fell short. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to because I thought, hey, Nick Fury, Sam Jackson, they're going to deliver here. They're going to bring us the goods. And the goods did not arrive on time. They didn't arrive late. In fact, they didn't arrive. But we've got to do fact of the day. Page number 44, fact number two. Eye servant is a noun. One who only works when the boss is watching. Oh. And if he ain't watching, you ain't doing the work. So in this case, I believe a lot of these writers working at Marvel right now, when five years and on them, when he's not observing them and he's just saying, oh, you do what you want. Are you really doing anything? And then when he comes in the room and you're like, oh, no, 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 no Okay, don't fire us, please. This riot strike, don't fire us. That's what's happening in the MCU right now. Absolute dog shit. Absolute garbage. Hey, no range of the comic game. Yes, and right now we're quickly, very quickly, because we don't want to give it too much time, gonna be doing our review of episode six, the finale of Secret Invasion. And I will say there was one good thing about this episode. It was only 30 minutes long. <sighs> the best thing about it was also something wrong with it because it was only 30 minutes long and they didn't really wrap up everything to the way you'd expect them to wrap it up. Look, I said one thing previously, which was this final episode mm -hmm. better be 55 minutes. Yep. When we clicked it on, I said, bear, check, check the number. And he went, oh, it's 35 minutes. I went, oh, I've been cheated here. Yeah. I felt cheated and I said, you know, maybe just somehow they will wrap up with a bow. We'll get the endings we need. We'll get the tension back and forth with this finale. And they delivered on nothing. They gave absolutely zero, which almost seems impossible. But then again, Marvel now seems like an absolute dumpster fire. So we'll go through things one by one very quickly. Number one, the human characters, the humans that were in New Skrullos, the radiation infested place that no humans can go to, walked out of there like nothing was wrong. Yeah. You would assume, oh, these people are actually going to have radiation poisoning. They're probably going to be done in and struggling to walk, struggling to talk, all that stuff. But apparently they can just carry on like nothing's happened. They've been in a coma, basically. Just remove the radiation. Some of these people have been comatose for years. Rhodey, comatose for years. He doesn't look sick. Yes, he still can't walk. Yeah. But everything else is like, he's absolutely fine. Mm. Just a bit discombobulated. That's it. That's not good enough, especially when they laid it up at the beginning. The idea is that any human entering within a day is getting very sick. Yeah. These guys are surviving months, if not years, and they're fine. Just doesn't make any sense. But then that's not even the worst thing here, because they did something in this show, which I really didn't think they'd do, because I didn't believe they were that stupid to do it. And in doing so, they may have destroyed the entire power system in the MCU. The hierarchy of power in the MCU has changed forever. Because Emilia Clarke's character, spoiler, in this show, has every power of every Avenger ever. Guys, guys, when we saw this, both of us had this great sigh of just anguish. It was pure anguish. And we said, oh, you know what? Maybe it's just one. Maybe it's just a spoiler, Hulk on. Mm -hmm. No, it kept going. And then there was this battle, which I think they thought, oh, it's going to look really cool. They're going to grow it these different arms. It looks so boring and it weak. Was so, so bad. And then there's this question as to, I understand these people are like spies. You could even consider them high-level spies. Yeah, maybe, fine. Maybe almost super spies. Fine. They were using these abilities, switching between them like they'd had them their whole lives. There is zero learning curve. Scrolls don't need to learn anything. <laughs> it's already in Bill. Both of them. Oh Gravik and goodness. Gaia. It was so unbelievable. And I think they said, if we give them the visuals, no one's going to think about it. We thought about it, okay? It doesn't make any sense. When you look at some of these characters, you say, oh, look, they had to go through this, 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 and now they've mastered or come to some type of understanding of their abilities. It's almost like these guys need no training. They've just been lumped with the power and they're like, oh, we're good. When you think of Iron Man in Iron Man 1, he's super genius, by the way. He's learning to use his suit and he's getting thrown all over the place by the suit. Yeah. With this, they're just flying about like they've been flying about their whole lives. Super cool strength. The point is, right, when you have the idea of a character flying, they need to build into that. They need to fail. They need to jump and fall and jump and fall. Just like Superman does when he learns how to fly in the comics. 
But no, it seems like they just pick it up and say, I'm gonna fly. I don't need to actually conceptualize what that means or physically understand and mentally get through that barrier. It's, I'm just doing it. I don't understand it. I don't like it. But the fact that Amelia Clark is now basically the most powerful character in the MCU is absolutely bonkers. And the fact that this has been introduced in a show. Yep. And there is a chance we never see her in a film. What was even the point of doing this? I don't know, man. It's very, very bad decision making because these shows get a million viewers an episode in America. Worldwide, it might be two, say. But that's not a lot of people clicking on and saying, I know what this character does. I know who they are. I understand their motivations and I understand the power set. They have every power set. She is A tier, S tier. In fact, she is the new top tier. She is her own tier. No one else can come close. If she gets in a ring with Carol Danvers, she's taking her out. If she gets in a ring with Hulk, she's taking him out. And then there's Thor, of which she would dead him, which is absolutely atrocious, but they've made the decision and now they're going to have to stick with it. Do I expect to show up in other things? Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if she pops up in the Thunderbolts. Oh. That may make sense. But other than that, I don't know where she's coming in. And if she isn't trying to save the universe at this point, I don't know what type of stupid shit you're playing. So that's what we think about Secret Invasion. It was a letdown. It was a disaster. It was, in fact, the disaster artist. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, Nick Fury gonna come after you don't want that no do they want that no, no so just subscribe anyway to avoid that and i've been the original comic. i've been on sensei she's been on sensei you've been grand we'll see you next time that's tomorrow if you don't know make a video every single day been doing it every day for over five years now and we are stopping until we get to ten thousand subscribers so do subscribe fuck back again some more for some more quality Shitty content, hashtag never not here. Side goes all spring, the podcast, podcast means nonsense, imp and jumpy. We also bring that bring a lot, bring a little, do a lot, do a lot, but we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow for more of the same, slightly different, but essential. The very same. Once more, see you then. Skadoosh. <laughs>